and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to add a grain overlay to your video footage. It doesn't have to be grain, you can basically use everything as an overlay, but we're going to use grain for this effect. So we've got this simple clip of a motorbike and I've got this grain clip I put it on top. You will find both clips via description link below and they're both free so you can use the grain clip for your own footage if you want to and it won't cost you a dime. So the first thing that you want to do is to have the same size so that both clips have the same duration. In this case the overlay is longer than the footage which makes it easier for me I can just resize that. But let us just assume you're using overlay that's shorter than your footage. Just hold alt and drag copies so that we loop it, reposition that and repeat until you've got a longer duration than your footage. Afterwards press C for the cut tool and cut the end, delete the overlap then select them all, right click and nest it. Just going to call it, I don't know, grain overlay, something like this, so that you know what it is. Click on OK. Here it is. I'll select it in the timeline and now we go to the opacity under effect controls. So it's the opacity of the grain and not of the footage. And we'll change the blending mode to screen. If you can't find the effect controls, just go to window, click on it, it should open. And now we've got this grain, dirt, whatever you want to call it, added to the footage. There are two more things that you can do to easily adjust it. Number one is you can go down with the opacity of the grain. So that makes it a bit opaque and takes away a little bit of the intensity. It's obviously dependent on the overlay that you use in the footage. If you need to do that or not, just go by. In this case, around 65% should be a good value. You can also, which is the second thing that you can do easily, intensify it by going down with the opacity of the original footage. This also makes the footage a little bit darker, so be careful with it. Let's select that clip in the timeline and go to effect controls, once again opacity. And now this makes the grain a little bit more intense as the contrast is higher. But as I've said, don't go too low as it lowers the brightness of your original footage. But this is a general process of adding these grain overlays to your footage in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.